will now discuss checking and adjusting the spacing calibration. Always remember to start by unplugging the machine. Spacing controls the distance between the cutter of the machine and the tracer. It can be adjusted by moving the tracing block assembly to the left or to the right. The spacing will need to be checked after every time you replace the cutting wheel after you have checked the carriage stop calibration. To make any adjustments, you will need a 3 16 Allen wrench and either two blank KW1 keys or SC1 keys. In this demonstration, we'll be using two blank SC1 keys. With both jaws set to the standard jaw setting, place an uncut SC1 key blank with the blade upside down in both the left and right jaws. Bring the gauge fork down and tip gauge the SC1 keys. Squeeze the trigger to release the carriage. Be sure to slide the bearing behind the pressure plate to keep the carriage locked upwards. Move the carriage towards the right until the tips of the keys are touching the side of the tracer and the cutter. Keep light pressure on the carriage handle so the carriage does not move back to the left. Now use your right hand to rotate the cutter in the upwards direction by spinning the brush. Spin for a couple revolutions. During the rotation of the cutter, the cutter should just graze the tip of the SC1 key blank in the right jaw. If that is a condition you find, the machine needs no adjustment at this time. If during the rotation, of the cutter, a heavy grinding sound is heard, then a spacing adjustment needs to be made. The heavy grinding sound means the tracer needs to be moved back to the left, away from the cutter. Use the 3 16 Allen wrench and loosen the locking screw on the top of the tracer block assembly. Then make a small adjustment on the spacing adjustment dial on the left side of the tracer block assembly. Do this by turning the dial in the direction of the letter L for left marked on the block and then tighten the locking screw back down. You will need to re-gauge the keys using the gauge fork to make sure that the keys are still properly tip gauged. Now raise the carriage and move it towards the right till the keys make contact with the cutter and tracer. Again, rotate the cutter upwards by spinning the brush. Continue to check for the grinding noise and repeat the previous steps until the spacing is properly calibrated. If no sound is heard during the rotation of the cutter, meaning the cutter is not touching the key, an adjustment needs to be made. Move the keys and carriage back down to the load position. Use the 3 16 Allen wrench and loosen the locking screw on the top of the block. The block needs to be moved to the right by turning the adjusting screw towards the letter R. Turn in small increments. Now tighten the locking screw back tight. Now raise the keys back and move them to the right till they make contact with the tracer and cutter. Again, turn the cutter upwards to see if the cutter just makes contact with the tip of the key. Continue this process, making small adjustments and checking until you can just hear the cutters making contact.